Jim Bagley's baits have been a favorite of fishermen and collectors for many years. But today on Retro Bass, we're going to be talking about one of my favorites, the old school fat cat. Retro Bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. If you watch the channel with any regularity, you know that I've been on a little bit of a tear with some OG crankbaits. It has been prime season for throwing diving baits, uh, especially on Lake Travis, just outside of Austin, Texas, where I have been doing a little bit of fishing as of late. In the last episode, I threw out a question to the viewers asking what old school crankbait you'd like to see me fish with next. And without a doubt, the name that kept coming up the most was Bagley. Well, I am no Bagley expert by any means, but I do have a few Bagleys on hand. So today on Retro Bass, we're going to take a little look into Bagley baits focusing on the Fat Cat. There's actually a great little history on Jim Bagley on the Bagley Lords website. And looking that over, I learned some things about Jim that I did not know before. First off, Jim worked under famous Florida lure builder Bill Eager of the Eager Bait Company. In 1954, Jim set out on his own when he purchased the Dean Pork Rind Company and an article in Field and Stream Magazine on his Black Magic Eel was the kickstart that Jim Bagley needed. In 1960, he became fascinated with the trend toward balsa crankbaits and came up with his own version of the Rapala Minnow known as the Bangalore. Here is a modern version of the Spintail Bangalore, but this Honestly, it looks pretty similar to some of Jim Bagley's first creations of that bait. What were nice about the Bangalores at the time is that even though they were balsa and they had all the advantages of balsa, i.e. really buoyant and great movement, his were a little bit heavier, so they were actually much easier to cast. Over the years, Jim would come out with a number of classic crankbaits, including the Diving Bee, the Killer Bee, and one of my favorite lines, the small fry. Here is a new old stock small fry I picked up from Jim's rebate tackle in South Texas. I might have to rip this guy open one day, but oh man, that is definitely one of my favorite bluegill imitations of all time. I do have a couple of diving Bagley baits in my collection. Here is an OG Diving Killer B2 in a hot belly crawl pattern. See that crawl pattern? Woo! I like that one. As well as a Diving B3. Uh, these are two I picked up at a yard sale. I put new hooks on and I have not yet thrown out there. But of all the Bagleys that I've got, the Fat Cat has always been my favorite. And I have a few original Fat Cats as well as the larger Mama Cat in my collection. But before we dive into that, I do want to show you what I know of the catalog history of the Bagley Fat Cat. The first time I saw a Bagley Fat Cat was in my 1988 Bass Pro Shops Master Catalog. And this is a little bit toward the later end of the Bagley era before Jim Bagley sold the company. During that era, he had a couple of my favorite baits in addition to the Fat Cat. One called the Smoo, which sort of looked like a balsa version of a flatfish, as well as one based off that movie extraterrestrial E.T. called the E.T. Crankbait. So let's take a look at the Bagley spread. It is actually pretty impressive for 1988 how many Bagley baits they featured. In 1988, they had a very impressive four-page spread of Bagley baits in the Bass Pro catalog, including the introduction of a new bait called the Fat Cat. We'll check out what it says about the Fat Cat in 1988. The new Fat Cat, darting but deadly. This proactive new action more likened to a Turkish belly dancer than a Bagley lure of the past. 
A fast but tight action could do more to blow a fish's mind than a stick of dynamite. Very impressive little lure in both design and appearance, and the fish love it. Order by color number, it came in uh, five different colors at the time, including Tennessee Shad, Black and Chartreuse, Hot Tiger, Crippled Shad Silver, and Black Silver on Chrome. At the time, there were two different sizes of the Bagley Fat Cat, uh, both a shallow and a deep dive inversion, and all were available for $4.17. Or if you got three or more, the price came down to $3.97. In 1989, Bagley continued with another strong three-page showing of their baits, and at this point, it featured the extended line of Fat Cats and the larger version of the Mama Cat. Here is a nice little spread of the Bagley Cats right next to that E.T. crankbait that I talked about. Let's see what they had to say about this bait in 1989. The Cat Family. These feline baits have a wiggle bass can't resist. They say the female of the species is the deadliest and the mama cat is no exception. Made of hardwood, its bullet nose allows it to shoot through the water with dynamic action. The original Fat Cat is smaller in size but not ability. It's fast but tight wiggling action. Keeps fish thinking it's just a cute, easy target. Though they would eventually extend the line into multiple sizes and multiple depth diving variations, in 1989, there were just three. The shallow and the diving fat cat, as well as the mama cat. Price stayed the same at 427, and by 1989, it was offered in six different colors. We're gonna take a look at my personal collection of Bagley fat cats. But first, I want to show you a little footage from a trip I took this week to Lake Bastrop, where I was throwing nothing but the old Bagley Fat Cat. There he is. Whoa! -ho -ho. <laughs> Come on, buddy. There we go. A little bass on the old baby cat. <laughs> oh, let's get you in here. Oh, there we go. Let's try and grab him without hooking myself this morning. Ooh, there we go. Nice little largemouth bass on the Bagley Fat Cat. <laughs> this is definitely a lure here by popular demand. As you guys know, I've been throwing a ton of crankbaits as of late. Just a bait I love, especially this time of year. And in the video comment section of the last episode, I had a ton of folks saying I should throw some Bagley baits. Well, one of my favorites that I had not yet done an old retro bassin episode on was this one. The fat cat. There we go. A lot of, got a little skinny cat to go with it. <laughs> oh. oh, that was a hit. Son of a gun. I missed a fish on a crankbait. Wow. That has not happened in a minute. Missed a fish on a crankbait. Wow. <laughs> I have to watch the footage on that one. That's a bummer. Well, we're neither wearing rayon jackets nor kicking ass at the moment, so try to improve both those situations. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, he hit right at the boat. Oh, man. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Woo. Another, oh, another nice little bass on the fat cat. Oh, let's get in here before I lose you. 
I've been missing a couple of fish today, and both that I've gotten have been on this rear hook. So I'm guessing these fish are not super, super active, and they are sort of swiping at the fat cat. He hit right at the boat, and yeah, luckily, got him in. <laughs> oh, son. Well, nice, warm little bass. Woo, that thing's like a hot potato. <laughs> I love fall fishing. Unfortunately, time was uh, not on our side, but it was cool to at least peg a bass or two on the old fat cat. This particular color is called Crippled Shad Silver Chrome, and it has always been just one of my favorite colors of Bagley's. I don't care what variation that crankbait came in. It is a overall chrome bait, but it's got one of the most unique scale patterns of any crankbait I have ever seen. This is the 5 16th of an ounce diving version, and I gotta tell you, this was actually a fun little bait to fish. Despite its small size, it actually casts pretty well. It's almost that perfect diving depth for hitting that five to eight foot weed edge. And yeah, it's got a nice little wiggle that was definitely enticing the bass. Considering most of my bass were hitting it on the rear hook, I either didn't have it dialed in with crankbait size or color. Uh, so that probably attributed to the fish or two that I also lost on this bait. But definitely one that I'm gonna continue to fish with probably next time I get on Lake Travis. I've also got that same color variation in a shallow diving version. And you know what, if I'd thought about it, I probably would have thrown this particular bait a little bit more because I know on Bass Drop, those fish do like to get really shallow this time of year. I've also got the original Fat Cat in more of a Tennessee shad pattern as well as the one that started off my Bagley collection, the first ever Bagley that I owned. This is Zach Bate, the fat cat in the oh, ever elusive and tough pistachio pattern. I know this is mine because I remember this bait and for some dumb reason, I used to take my mother's nail polish and paint red on the gills of every bass bait I had. So yeah, this is definitely an OG one, probably from 1988. Whew. Building upon the success of the Fat Cat, Jim Bagley released this, the Mama Cat. And this one came in two different sizes, a uh, diving and deep diving model. Here is just the regular diving model in Hot Belly Crawl. Here is one in Blue Back Chrome. I think that's what it's called. Really nice one in pumpkin seed. Uh, and it's actually got like seeds on it you can feel. You don't see that color too often these days. <laughs> At least not in crankbaits. Here I've got that injured shad with a chartreuse belly. And this is in the deeper dive inversion. I love that color. And last but not least, uh, the old injured shad on chrome in the deep diving pattern. I'll hold up a uh, fat cat and a mama cat side by side so you can kind of get a comparison of the size difference. That mama cat is, yeah, definitely the bigger of the two by a pretty good bit. And almost a completely different crankbait if you really think about it. So I didn't necessarily light the world on fire today with the fat cat, but it doesn't mean my enthusiasm for this bait is diminished at all. It is just a fun bait to throw. It's a fun bait to hold, a fun bait to look at. And it's no wonder it is definitely a collector's favorite, even in sort of the sub-genre of Jim Bagley baits. While we continue this little crankbait detour, in the comments below, let me know what is your favorite old school crankbait, and I'll see if I can dig a few up out of the old retro collection. If you're looking for more old school content, I'd click right here. Otherwise, I'll see you right back here next week. Same time, same place. And until then, keep the carpet side up. And definitely, fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.